tubing is the competitive advantage in today's plumbing market because of its exceptional durability and efficient installation. Zernpex tubing and appropriate fittings are truly the plumbing products of the future. You should become familiar with Zernpex plumbing products before installation. Zernpex tubing is available in white, red, and blue. These color options make color coding of hot and cold water lines easy if desired by the plumber. Pressure rating for Zernpex tubing is 100 PSI, more than enough for residential plumbing applications. It is also safe because its quality tested at temperatures up to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 40 degrees higher than most residential plumbing systems require. Zernpex tubing is available in 3 8 1 half, 3 quarter, and 1 inch diameter sizes. It is used with Zern Quick Cert and Quick Tight Fitting. It can also be used with Quick Port Plastic Manifolds. Quick Cert fittings are machined from brass. They are marked with the manufacturer's identification and the letters P-E-X. The copper crimp rings are colored black for identification. They are annealed to be soft for consistent crimps. The rings are marked with the letters Q and P-E-X. Never use unmarked or non-annealed rings with Zernpex products. You also must use the proper tools for trouble-free installation. Zernpex crimp tools have carefully machined jaws with interlocking teeth to give a round crimp with no ears. Zern Go No-Go gauges allow you to accurately check for both over and under crimping. Zern tubing cutters use a ratcheting action and have a die-cast body to give a clean, straight cut. Zern Tex tubing is intended for ordinary hot and cold water distribution systems. While water heater connectors are not required, they are recommended in order to make it easier to replace a damaged or worn out water heater. The insert fittings and crimp rings used in the Zern Tex plumbing systems are not interchangeable with those used with the polybutylene tubing. Mixing of components can cause plumbing system failure and result in severe water damage. Always double check to make sure you have the correct insert fittings and crimp rings. Zernpex tubing is sometimes used for additional applications like radiant heating systems, ground coupled heat pumps, and snow melt systems. Pex tubing that is used for radiant heating and snow and ice melt systems is manufactured with an oxygen barrier. Pex barrier tubing has a noticeably shiny surface. Zernpex tubing may be installed in circulating hot water plumbing loops, like those found in hotels and motel, when the temperature is 140 degrees Fahrenheit or less, and the chlorine in the water is two parts per million or less. Pex tubing should never be used in areas exposed to direct sunlight, because like most plastic, Zernpex can be attacked by the ultraviolet component of sunlight. Always store Zernpex under cover, preferably inside a building. Pex tubing should never be used to pipe Freon in air conditioning systems, nor should it be used as swimming pool piping. Always make sure that you comply with a local plumbing code. Pex is an acronym for cross-link polyethylene, a type of plastic. Pex tubing was first used in the 1970s. Engineers, architects, and plumbing contractors recognized its many benefits, including lightweight, high resistance to freeze thaw damage, flexibility and ease of use, high strength and corrosion resistance, and the ability to withstand job site conditions. Zernpex tubing is manufactured in state-of-the-art production facilities in Commerce, Texas and Elkhart, Indiana. Zern uses a silane method. Silane is carefully grafted onto polyethylene and precisely mixed with stabilizers and cross-linking catalysts to ensure the strongest and highest quality products. Providing the optimal stabilizer levels is critical to ensure long-term protection from oxidation. Zernpex is produced with higher levels of stabilizers than any other type of commercial PEX production method. This means many years of reliable service. Zern uses a higher density-based polyethylene than the other commercial methods, which makes Zernpex an excellent choice for plumbing and heating applications. Once the Zernpex tubing is exposed to moisture for several hours, it is cross-linked perfectly every time. The final product is tested in advanced laboratories located at each manufacturing plant to ensure conformity to ASTM standards. ASTM standards are not only met, but surpassed. 
Zerntex also introduced the Quick Cert joining system for its plumbing system in the mid-1970s. This is now the staple joining method in the plumbing industry. Failure to install Zerntex products according to the manufacturer's written instructions will without applicable Zern warranties. This may also result in severe water damage. This video is meant to work in conjunction with, not in place of, the Zerntex Professional Installation Guide. Always consult the installation guide prior to installation. Zerntex plumbing systems must be installed by a licensed plumber. It is the installer's responsibility to make sure all applications and installation procedures comply with local building codes. Zerntex tubing should not be subjected to prolonged exposure to free chlorine concentrations greater than two parts per million. The critical factor in any piping system is the joint between the pipe and the fitting. The Zerntex Quick Cert system is an insert and crimp system that joins the tube to the fitting. First, cut the tube and make sure that you have a square burr-free cut. If you use something other than a blade cutter, like a hacksaw, you must make sure that all the burrs and loose pieces are removed. If burrs or loose pieces are pushed between the tube and the fitting, they will eventually cause a leak. Second, slip the black copper crimp ring onto the tube. Third, insert the fitting into the tube. Push the tube to the shoulder of the fitting. If the fitting has no shoulder, make sure all of its ribs are covered. Center the crimp ring over the barb 1 8 to 1 quarter inch from the end of the tube. Squeeze the ring with your fingers or gently with a pair of pliers to hold it in place while you position the crimp tool. Hold the crimp tool at 90 degrees to the tubing and position it so the crimp ring is completely covered by its jaws. Close the tool completely one time. Closing it halfway twice will not properly make a connection. Check the crimp with the Zern Go No Go gauge. If the crimp is good, it will fit in the Go side, but not in the No Go side. Look closely at the gauge. Only the flat part of the opening is the gauging area. The circular part is clearance. The gauge is easily pushed across the crimp ring. If you have to force it, the ring is undercrimped. The perfect crimp connection ensures proper compression between the fitting and the tube. The tubing is forced firmly between the ribs. Look for signs of incorrect connections before you continue. If the ring is crimped over the end of the tube, the ribs are not adequately covered. If the tube is dented, the crimp tool was not held at a 90 degree angle when the connection was made. If the ring is distorted or the crimp is not uniform, the ring was not completely covered by the crimping tool when the connection was made. If the tube was not cut squarely, the fitting's ribs will not be sufficiently covered. If the ring is too far from the end of the pipe, the ribs are not covered enough to prevent leaks. Any crimp connection that does not gauge properly or has any of these visible defects must be cut off and replaced. Do not just cut the ring off because the tube will be distorted by the fitting ribs and the fitting itself may be slightly deformed. If the crimp does not gauge properly, the crimp tool needs to be adjusted. Begin the adjustment by closing the handles until the tool's jaws barely touch. This is the preload point. Measure the preload space. Use the X's on the handles for reference. If the crimp ring won't fit in the go opening of the go no go gauge, increase the preload space on the crimp tool by loosening the bottom locking screw with a supplied Allen wrench. Then tighten the top adjusting screw until the preload space increases by a half inch. Retighten the locking screw. Make a test crimp and then check it with the gauge. If the crimp ring went into the no-go end of the gauge, the preload space is too large and should be decreased. Learn crimp tools should have a preload space of between 7 inches and 8 and 1 half inches when they're adjusted to make good crimps. If a tool requires preload space outside of this range to make a good crimp, it should be carefully checked for wear or damage. 